Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Marijuana SA Weekly. And today we are going to be talking about uh, what happens when you grow without grow room lenses. And yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, I don't want to, yeah, I was going to blurt out a, a, a bad word there. Anyway, so uh, as always, yeah, Dean's here with me, uh, who's yep. got a bit of uh, a story with the grow room glasses. And yeah, uh, how's it going, Dean? Yeah, good. Uh, welcome, everyone for another episode uh loving these product uh product episodes recently we've been diving deep into some of the new tech uh and this one is something we probably should have been on earlier uh, personally i could attest to that <laughs> so uh, that's becoming a bit late but yeah we uh we uh this is a super important topic and we thought today was a good time to break it seeing we have finally sourced and uh have a solution for you guys as well mm -hmm. essentially it's um uh yeah dude, when it comes down to it you know you guys need to be uh maintaining a sort of level of protection in your grow room lenses you know we always uh, advocate for it uh use protection uh whenever growing and like for some reason you know it and that's the thing it's it's like an extra cost that people don't really see the value in it but i think if you've been growing for a long time sort of pre lenses you guys in the comments might also you might be able to relate that it does it really it really butchers your eyesight unfortunately yeah, so, so i thought we'd I'd tell a little personal one i've spent many hours under the lights in the last few years uh about six months ago i started wearing like normal glasses in the grow room uh uv protected it said on the box but yeah i just personally have found that especially now uh, that i'm dealing with like very very high powered units like i've got mm. uh my one grow 10 i got like 880 watts in the other one it's like 580 watts and like you spend you're spending hours and hours and hours defoliating looking i'm in there every day under these high powered lights not all of them are dimmable and i've personally found that over the last maybe couple of years i've had a decrease in eyesight i remember when i went for my last driver's license uh I was 2020 and then I did another test recently and it had degraded way faster than anticipated. <laughs> so yeah, I've personally destroyed my eyesight marginally, let's say 10 years in the last two. <laughs> mm. So that uh, spurred us to obviously come up with a solution. Um, also in a lot of the content we put out, you know, I didn't want to be cool guy. So I wasn't wearing any glasses, which is also a bit, you know, is, is a bit uh, of, a, of an oversight. So basically, yeah, uh, personally, I eventually needed to just make a decision. You know, um, uh, I need to maintain my eyes. I want to read books and comments and all that sort of things. So like, uh, <laughs> that's, where this, uh, that's where this product came by. And Luke, who's joined our team quite recently, um, he sourced them for us. And we are now have them available as well. And that is the Method 7 yeah. Grow Glasses. Yeah, we'll we'll do a bit of an unboxing in a second. But you know what you know what happens? You start growing and you've got one tent, one light. You know, maybe not even like a not even like a high powered, like a two hundred watt or a hundred watt light. And you're like, mm, this is fine. And like to be honest, you probably will be fine in you know with like a smallish light, and you're not in there. You're like with two, three plants, you can pull them out, uh, do your defoliation, put them back in. You're not like inside the tent. You know, like yeah, when it gets yeah. to that, like as it gets to a sort of higher. Uh, you, and like that's thing uh, that's the progression of growing is you generally start with like one tent one light and then like uh, you know five years later you got like 10 tents and 10 lights sort of thing you know you've sort of grown grown the you've evolved in the grow space um and now that you're like in that progression you don't really realize but like your time also is like a upward trajectory of how much time you're spending in there and like because you didn't like feel it at the beginning it wasn't like bam like I can feel the damage happening. You don't really notice. And then it's like a frog in boiling water thing, you know, where you like, you don't feel it because yeah, it's like the boiling around slow. You get mm. more and more light and you're like slowly degrading. So like you kind of become used to being under them. Um, but yeah. if like you have other people come into the grow room, which doesn't happen often, but uh, <laughs> someone else comes in, they're like, how do you even see in here? And I'm like, it looks fine. You know? <laughs> <Night vision. laughs> because of that, uh, because of that slow, <laughs> that slow, slow progression. And also I think uh, uh, fixtures are just getting stronger and stronger mm, and stronger mm. as the tech's evolving. You know, uh, years ago, I didn't have a light 
an 880 watt in a 1.2 tent that spreads, you know, that's so powerful. Um, putting out over a thousand uh, PPFD at uh, you know 50 centimeters, so mm. you know it's like a completely different ball game we're going to see ourselves operating in. Um, and uh, you know it's the same for LED HPS. Uh, any kind of high powered light is going to affect you over mm. over time. Hundred percent. So yeah, guys, basically, uh, you know, heat uh, heat heat the warning. Um, take it as 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 part of our our uh, beginner's guide that we're releasing soon as well. That it's going to just be in there to make sure to acquire and use your you know uh, factor in the safety even at a smaller scale. Uh, you can use uh, uh you regular glasses if you're not uh, in the necessarily need like a, a proper set of like grow room lenses. I mean, it's probably going to be better. But uh, yeah, don't, don't, if you're strapped for cash, anything's better than nothing. Um, yeah, I'm a notorious glasses breaker. So like for me to get this pair of glasses was like, uh, I need and I'll be careful with it because <laughs> they aren't the cheapest. Um, but yeah, let's a, have a look have at a range they, at the moment. Look, so here they are. We've got them. We, the, the, this is the brand method seven. Uh, they come in multiple different glasses but we went for this air uh, cultivator FX, I think it's called. Um, and it says here on the side, safety and comfort with infrared heat and 100% UV protection. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, then if we, open I think it it's up, that IR filter that really sets it apart from like, cause you can get UV filters in normal glasses, but not, not necessarily yeah. IR. Filters. And it's, a lot of the, the lights have these have infrared. So it's not really the general style of glasses that I'd wear, to be honest, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> At least my plants know that I'm fast, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they make you, and also like an extra uh, plus side that you don't read in the advertising because if you wear these glasses, it actually like helps you exfoliate faster just the way they look. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, yeah, they, they sort of went for like a, uh, like a mountain downhill, uh, bike, a street bicycle racer. Slash... So I'd wear these to the rave, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Like it looks, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, they don't, they, I mean, but in the grow room, you're not really going to style a lot of the time, even if this isn't my normal style, like it's just me and my plants in there anyway. So like, who's <laughs> gonna, well, I suppose I'm going to have to start putting YouTube videos out wearing them now. So it's going to be yeah. that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's, it's, and that's the thing. I mean, it, it shouldn't be, maybe there'll be better styles in the future, but like when it comes there to are different to styles, mm. but like, uh, price wise, uh, these are going just under a sure. thousand bucks. And the next price bracket is, I think, like one thousand eight hundred or something. And then the next price bracket is like close to three. So, like as always with the South African market, I think we like to look at things that we know are going to be um, slightly more affordable, just because of the nature of of our market. And you know, we can if, if they do well, we can we can build on that range over time. But I, I want it, the, the lenses are the same. You're paying mm. for the look, you know. So, like at the end of the day, it's like not a fashion show. Uh, protection ppf uh, ppfd uh, ppe uh, equipment yeah. is important and like if you're running club grows you've got mm. staff you know uh, or and you uh, facilities expense. and you've got staff like you have to protect your staff you know and at the end of the day you can't expect your staff to go work under 400,000 watts of hps lights and not have some kind of protection you know you're going to have steel yeah. toes in their uh, shoes in there probably so get them a pair of glasses as well so it definitely has its place. The research is there. And I say this was a bit of an oversight on, on our side. You know, it's not going to happen to me kind of thought, but like <laughs> it, happens, <laughs> it happens to everyone and rather late than never, I suppose. So guys, you heard it from us every week and bring you guys uh, loads of content and make sure to listen to us on Spotify, uh, Audible, not Audible, uh, all your podcasting apps. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys next week. Peace, Peace guys. Out.